Welcome back to another Fierce Cluster Care video. In this end-to-end -end installation, you'll see how to upgrade the Audi TT Mark II 8J instrument cluster to Color MFA. You can go from your red or white screen to the full glory of Color MFA. This is a huge upgrade to the functionality of the instrument cluster and I'm so happy to show that Color MFA is possible in all PQ35 cars. Now, just to make sure you don't miss your original screen settings too much, make sure you're happy with all the comfort settings before the next step as the coding dumbs down your FIS. The first step is to adjust some of the cluster coding to get rid of the FIS functions. Now, this step is necessary in order to control only Color MFA and not the FIS and Color MFA at the same time. So first, go into 17 Instruments, Coding, and you'll see the coding for Highline without this is plus two. So add two to your coding in the relevant position. You'll see it's gotten slightly less functionality. Any ideas? Next is to go into Adaptations and find Comfort Menu from the list. Change the New value to 0, press Test, then Save, press Done, go back, and now the cluster no longer controls any comfort settings. Okay, so that's the first part done. Now we get to preparing the Color MFA kit. You have the main board and screen, wiring, tools, and a set of connectors for the CAN bus and a CAN bus gateway adapter. Then of course, your Audi TT Mark II 8J instrument cluster. So start by removing the four screws on the back of the housing. Then you wanna release all of the housing locking tabs. Be careful not to pry too much or else you risk breaking them. You can see I'm releasing them evenly around the housing before attempting to split the two halves apart. Removing the needles requires pulling them out while turning anti-clockwise. Then the foils can be removed. You can see I already modified the central foil as I was testing Color MFA a few years back. The TT8J clusters have a front and a back half. You want to split the front board off by pulling at either side until it disconnects from the rear board. Put the rear section away for now, we'll need that part later. Paying attention to the central section of the white frame now, this is what needs to be removed to make way for Color MFA. Press off the two locking prongs to lift it up and over, then you can release the screen ribbon connector like so. It doesn't need much force, so be gentle.
Now you need a heat gun to remove these tiny resistors. They light up the fist backlights. We don't need these backlights, so remove all of these little resistors. The red clusters have about eight of them, while the white clusters have 12. Make sure to keep these in case you want to revert back to the OEM setup, although I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, because once you go color MFA, you'd never go back. So that's all that's required for the instrument cluster for now. Prepare the Color MFA kit by stripping down the wires, soldering them as per the Audi TT Mark II wiring diagram, which I'll flash up on the screen in a bit. Place the sticky pads and twist all of the CAN bus pairs, then thread the wiring through the holes in the board. I've made another video for generally preparing Color MFA, so click on the top right hand corner link to view the quickest way to prepare Color MFA. Now that all the other wires have been threaded through, the last ones are the USB wires which you want to place to the left of the left control stick. Test the fitment of the Color MFA assembly by placing it upside down. Now this is key, it must be upside down as the firmware for the Audi TT Mark II flips the screen around 180 degrees. You want to butt the connector end of the Color MFA to the bottom of the white frame ensuring it's centralized too. Once you're happy with the placement, remove the screen so you can have access to the pins. So this is what it should look like from the rear with all the wires sticking out. Now bring back the rear half of the board and start soldering the Color MFA wires into place as per the wiring diagrams. Ensure you make a cut in the rear of the cluster housing for the USB port and stick it down. With all of that done, you can join the two halves together. You're more than halfway at this point, so keep going. Being careful not to snag any of the wires and getting them caught in the two white connectors is really important. When you're happy with the placement of the wires, push the two halves back together again. Looking at the housing from the rear, the CAN bus wires poke out near the blue connector. We'll need to add those little plugs here for a conveniently removable Color MFA instrument cluster. Test fit the fuel and coolant foil to ensure your mounting of Color MFA isn't too high. It should sit flush to the foils or lower. Now test run Color MFA to ensure it's working while installed in the Audi TT Mark II 8J instrument cluster. All you need to do is power 12 volts, ignition and ground for Color MFA to start working. So there you go, it's working in the housing, so that's really good and you can move forward. Now we're happy that it's all working, it's time to reassemble the instrument cluster. My best tip here would be to be really careful with pushing the needles down, as the motors can break really easily. Now going back to the CAN bus wiring, you'll need to open up your adapter and re-pin it if it's not pinned in correctly for the Audi TT Mark II or PQ35 platform. I had to move around four pairs of wires to ensure powertrain CAN, convenience CAN and infotainment CAN are in the correct spots. You'll know if you've done this part wrong as the car won't start and you'll get a Christmas tree of errors on the dash. 
start off on one connector and then copy the adjusted wiring on the opposite side. Then extend the wiring from the adapter end so it'll span the distance from the glove box area to the instrument cluster area. It'll be about one meter of twisted CAN bus wiring per pair. Solder the connector female ends onto the wires coming out of your upgraded TT Mark II HA cluster housing. Now that's all done, you're ready to go back to your car and remove more parts. First, you want to remove the glove box and the three central air vents. Then you want to run the three CAN bus pairs from the glove box area over to the instrument cluster area. Connect the harness adapter to the CAN gateway connector and the other side into the CAN gateway. This ensures everything will talk to each other and you'll have a fully functioning color MFA. Since the Audi TT Mark II doesn't have an ignition pin in the cluster, you'll also want to tap into the ignition at the CAN gateway or use a piggyback fuse in the main interior fuse panel. So that's how it looks as a wiring diagram, but in real life, this is what the actual job looks like. So don't freak out, it's okay, it's going to look great when you're done. Time to put everything back together again. So this is how the Color MFA works in the Audi TT Mark II. Got one camera showing you the instrument cluster there and the other camera showing you the controls. Basically what we're going to do, there are the three controls on the wiper stalk here. So you've got the underneath one, the up and the down. So this would usually control the comfort controls in the middle screen. But now that the color MFA is in there and the screen or the instrument cluster has been coded out to remove those comfort controls, it's going to be controlling the color MFA. So simply pressing down and making this really obvious as to what I'm pressing, but typically you wouldn't use it like that, you'd use it like this. So you can see it's scrolling through the home page screens there. So you can scroll the other way as well, going up, and then the beautiful part of Color MFA is that you press the underneath button and you come to a, a whole lot of menu options. So there are a whole lot here and I won't go through them now. I'm just showing you how the Color MFA is controlled. So to choose something, you press the underneath button. To scroll through, you press down or up. So once again, to choose an option, you're pressing the button under there and scroll down, you press down, enter. You're basically choosing what you want to do where that red highlight is. Well done. Now you have one of the best upgrades for the Audi TT Mark II 8J instrument cluster that you can get. To see a Color MFA beginner's guide, click on the link in the top right hand corner. Please like this video if you found it useful. Any questions, pop them down in the comments below. Click the links for more instrument cluster mods and thanks for watching. See you next time.